time to bring you the joy business van tonight now fashion startup leather on call is doing much more than manufacturing accessories it is creating a marketplace for cock products to show the world that our everyday fashion choices can have a positive impact on the environment the joy business van tonight engages ceo of leather on call Stephen chase sapong who is promoting the cock culture Hello, Joy Business Van. My name is Stephen Chase Apon. Welcome to Leather on Coke Unlimited. Leather on Call started as an importer of leather accessories. So predominantly, we started from sourcing leather materials or leather uh, products from India to um, sell in, in Ghana through our online um, shops. All right. So basically, that's how um, Leather on Call started. While Stephen imported the leather products, his interest in making fashion accessories locally grew. I remember getting a cobbler from Kumasi and we're like, boss, you can, you can start with one sewing machine, you can start with one grinding machine. But trust me, I sat down, read more about it, and trust me, it was a whole lot of things, you know, from rent of office spaces, getting machineries, and getting the craftsmen as well. It was, it was so, so difficult from that stage. But it was a gradual process, you know. Gradually, Stephen got a hold of things and was soon producing his own accessories. Leather on Call began to catch the eye of the public with this customized leather products. But as Leather on Call grows, Stephen has become more conscious about using sustainable materials to make his products, not surprising because of his background as an environmentalist. For you to get a single leather sheet, trust me, uh, a cow needs to be, to be killed or a horse needs to be killed or crocodile needs to be killed and all that. So from, from, from that educational background point of view, as uh, I've always had that sustainability and envir environmental bit part of me in every decision I make, let them put that way. So um, we can say that uh, at, at an average shoe, synthetic uh, 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 latest foam or whatever the insoles cost about 20% uh, material of a, of a shoe. The rest is pure leather. So imagine how many cows or many uh, animals you have to unskin to, to, to do this. Stephen then started experimenting with the use of cork materials for his fashion accessories. Cork is formed from the bark of a cork oak tree. One of the most famous uses of cork is in making cork crowns. You'll notice that most wine bottles use a cork as a plug. I get them from hotels and restaurants and uh, the, the part of um, Last year, it was very, very difficult for me um, uh, so sourcing them. I ended up, I, I had to source some of them for my, um, for my frames, for instance. I, I, I used the stoppers, cut them and, 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 and frame them very nicely using the recycled recycle the pallets, container pallets, to, to do the framing on that. But uh, for, to turn it in a sheet form, with the, it's, it's, it's also so requires a lot of um, um, I'm, I'm work and even sourcing the material itself is also very, very difficult. So I think that's the only um, um, uh, challenge in, in using the, the, the cork material for, 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 for our products. Steven uses the cork materials for just about anything. Shoes, slippers, wallets, bags, book covers. The use of cork has distinguished him from others in the business of producing fashion accessories. He says patronage is also very impressive as the public begins to appreciate eco-friendly products. Leather on Coal's products are now 70% cork, 30% leather. Actually, um, user friendly, you can wash it, you can, um, is it easy, easy, easy to dry? As we, you cannot do that to leather because leathers are, are dyed, you know, to, to, to black, to brown, to coffee or whatever. But cork comes in its real natural state, which makes it more sustainable, more um, user friendly. Leather on Call is taking its eco friendly business to a new level. It started making gift items with the use of recycled materials like pallets. That aspect of the business is also catching on, boosted by social media. 
We are, we are, we are growing. We are, we are growing steadily, and as rightly said, um, all the various channels help us to also get to um, the, 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 the international market as well. Uh, currently, we are, we, 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 we do shipments to um, uh, UK. We do um, Netherlands. We do Canada and, and, and Liberia. So, so it has not been bad. We will be getting calls. We will be, we will be getting um, that, 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 that kind of positive feedback of, you know, um, they, 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 they want more of us. All right. So we are we are, we are taking it at, at, at a very good pace. Well, so the next time you purchase a bottle of wine, don't be too quick to throw the cork away. It can be recycled into something useful, like leather on core does.